Hi again crew, welcome to the kiwi fruit wine video. I've actually already started because I didn't realize I hadn't pushed record. So just to recap of what I've been doing, I've got my fermentation vessel here and in that, I'll tilt it before we won't be able to see, oh, there you go, yeah. I have um, about 1.7 kilos of kiwi fruit and I think it was about 200 and 20 grams of raisins which help bring out a um, quite a nice wee flavour there. It also acts as a nutrient. They do say to roughly chop the raisins but I haven't done that because my kiwi fruit are frozen and what I'm going to do later on when I add the boiling water, which I won't be doing on the video, uh, I'll get my stick blender and whiz everything up a little bit just to speed the process up a little bit and help the flavour extraction and all that. Right, so the kiwi fruit, which is 1.7 kilos, you add that, you add your raisins, about 220 grams worth, and then you need sugar. This here is about 1.1 kilograms of sugar. It's quite a funny amount, but it's what the recipe says, so we'll go with that. That can go straight into the bucket. There we go. Now at this stage, you add your um, boiling water and you stir it up until the sugar is dissolved. You leave it to cool before you add your nutrient and your yeast. You don't want to add your yeast or your nutrient too early uh, while it's still too hot because um, you'll kill it and it just won't ferment. Uh, the nutrient I'm using is a Fermate A. I'm only going to be using about an eighth of a teaspoon out of this bag. If you don't use it in the powdered form like I do, um, and you get it in sachets and just you know, work out how many litres of wine you're making and read the sachet and go off that. Um, and I'm also going to be using get my little bag of goodies here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh, some Lelvin yeast, wine making yeast that makes about uh, each each of these makes about five litres of wine. So got that sorted. Um, yeah, that's your kiwi fruit wine. You want to keep it in the bucket for about three to four days. Just let it bubble away in there, doing its thing. Uh, that's your fast ferment. And then you, um, after about a week, I suppose, you stir it twice daily. Um, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm backtracking a bit. Right, fast ferment in your bucket, so you just leave it to do its wee thing. Um, you actually don't add your yeast and nutrient at this stage. Sorry, I mucked that up and I will edit that out if I remember to. Um, if I don't, I'm sorry. So don't add your yeast and nutrient to start with. You leave that for about three days to do its thing, okay? And then you add your yeast and your nutrient, okay? And then stir it twice daily for a week. Make sure everything's sterilized. Um, I had a nasty issue. I'd used unsterilized equipment and I actually got mold in one of my buckets, unfortunately. So that was that brew bucket. Um, and then after a week, you transfer it into a demijohn and it goes through a secondary ferment. Okay, and then you rack it off into your bottles, which racking off is um, not into your bottle, so you rack it off into another demijohn. Um, racking off is you're just siphoning it out. A bit of wine at this stage, that's fine, don't worry about that. Um, you want to leave about that much at the bottom of your demijohn. Well, that's what I do anyway, and that keeps the sediment out, and you just keep doing that. I do it every two days, just to let the sediment settle, and then I'll rack it off again. Um, you're supposed to do it, I think, every week, but I, I just do it every two days once the sediment starts to settle. And then um, once that's done, you can bottle it, they recommend to let your bottles mature for about seven months once you've bottled it, 
which is heaps of time for it to develop. The wine will keep clearing, so you'll get a lovely clear wine. All right, so that's the Kiwi fruit wine. I'm going to show you a couple of things we've been up to. Um, I posted the other day that I bottled my lemon wine finally. It's going to be sitting for a while, but I just wanted to show you. We have one, two, oops, four, five, and a half. <laughs> I wound up putting it in a brandy bottle. I actually forgot to remove the labels. That doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I got five and a half bottles of lemon wine out of my little demi jar, which I'm very pleased about. It's nice and clear. I'm so happy it turned out as clear as it has. It's going to keep clearing too, which is just fantastic. Um, the other thing I did today, because we've had a big bag of onions, some of them are starting to, you know, sprout shoots and everything. Most of them are still good, but some of them are just starting to get a little soft. So I went through them all, and I've got a big three litre jar of pickled onions now. Um, it's my dad's recipe. Uh, it's basically just malt vinegar and pickling spices poured over onions. I'll put up the recipe. Um, I'm going to be doing some pickled garlic tonight as well. These onions have to sit for about three weeks, I think it was. Um, I'm probably going to leave them three or four weeks anyway. And uh, then they're good to eat. If to, um, I, I haven't done it that way because I, I know these are, these are hot pickled onions. They're great. So thanks for tuning in. It's probably going to be next weekend I do the um, kiwi fruit and apple cider. Uh, that's mostly just because it's going to be easier to do it that way. I will be posting stuff up during the week. I'm going to be making a potato and leek soup. I'll post that. I'll take photos and put a recipe up for that. Um, I'll be peeling the garlic tonight and possibly pickling it tonight. Um, well, I might not even peel it tonight. I might do it tomorrow. Give me something to do. Uh, be doing that. I'll put the recipe out for that. If I haven't already, I'm starting to lose track of what I put up. And um, yeah, we'll see you next weekend. Have a have a great weekend this weekend anyway. I hope you guys aren't copping all this rain like we are up in Hamilton. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.